what's up everyone in this video i'm going to talk about the vivo y95 camera settings now actually i didn't think that i would be making a video about the camera settings of this vivo y95 but still it got me a little surprised as the image quality and the professional mode that they have given is really amazing for this budget price phone so that's why i'm making this video now in this video you'll see all the settings that's available on the vivo y95's camera okay so let's begin with the video then so the first thing you want to focus is the settings over here as you can see there is 4 is to 3 aspect ratio 19 is to 9 aspect ratio there is the 16 is to 9 and 1 is to 1 now when to use these options let's say you are capturing pictures for your mobile only for your viewing pleasure let's say you want to capture some uh, garden images some flowers then you want to keep it as a wallpaper then i would suggest you use the 19 is to 9 aspect ratio that way it covers entire frame and right away this you can actually keep it as a wallpaper now you don't have to crop you don't have to zoom or do anything as such so that's why that's when you use the 19 is to 9 aspect ratio the second the third option here is the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio now this can be used if you are viewing it on your pc computer monitor or say if you are using it on your other phones which actually support 16 is to 9 display so that's when this works but still you will get more resolution pictures while you are capturing with 16 is to 9 aspect ratio now one is to one like i always say if you are taking pictures for your instagram or social networking site then i would recommend you use the one is to one aspect ratio so that instantly just as you take a picture you can instantly share this image right away by tapping here share so this is very quick and this is why you use the 1 is to 1 aspect ratio in all other circumstances always use the 4 is to 3 aspect ratio that way you get the full 13 megapixel of goodness yeah that's the setting of the first thing here the second one is timer now 3 seconds 10 seconds i don't have to explain i guess so the third one is again touch voice palm so if you use the touch it takes touch to focus that's how it changes the exposure and then clicks a picture for you so that you don't have to press on the shutter button let's say i'm taking i have multiple subjects over here and i want to focus on this leaf as you can see if i just tap on that it focuses there and then clicks a picture so this is a very handy feature so that's how you can use the touch voice or even palm so if you don't want to touch the mobile itself you can use the voice command so as it is saying that say cheese boom there you go as i said cheese it clicks a picture so these are kind of things that you can use depending on the situation and here's the time watermark model watermark unfortunately you cannot edit the watermark but you have to just stick with the time stamp or the model watermark so model watermark how it basically works is just as i take a picture you will see here shot on vivo y95 vivo dual camera so this is the watermark it gives so if you want watermark you can use that branding there is the geographic location if you want to know in future that you have taken this image in this particular location then you can use this geographic locations you need to on the location where it will be here in the control center so just swipe like this and turn on this location so that it tags the location whenever you are taking a picture the next one is framing lines i always suggest you to enable this framing lines now when you enable that as you can see using this grid lines you can actually take better pictures how you can take better pictures just use this grid line as a reference line now as you are seeing if i hold it this way it is already crossed so that reference line tells me that you are not holding the camera correctly so that's why i can always change again and then click a picture now this is a professional like taking a picture as you are seeing the depth of field beat the depth of field or beat the lines everything is horizontal to the ground and looks more professional so that's how you can use the framing lines and the next one here is the ai portrait framing as the name suggests ai portrait so it's meant for portrait so let's say we have this minion as portrait here and already it is recognizing as a subject as you are seeing so let it recognize and it adjusts based on the uh, type of skin you have type of color you have got so it all focuses and when you click a picture very proper and very soft in terms of skin tone and other things so that's how it uses artificial intelligence and takes a picture for you so that's ai portrait framing you can enable you can disable and the last one is ai scene identification artificial intelligence scene identification let's see if this detects as a ball so if i hold it's not recognizing let's tap to focus and i don't think it gives you suggestion about what the scene is but anyways just as i click a picture it should actually 
boost the saturation a little bit and then give you some really nice looking images so that's how you can use the AI scene detection let's see if it recognizes it as leaf nope it doesn't suggest you maybe while taking picture it enhances that's about it so that's the AI scene identification all right so that's how you change the settings right away from here so that's the settings available right over here and there is no separate camera settings inside the uh, settings option inside this camera uh, inside the mobile so there is only this setting option available previously there used to be a separate settings inside the settings uh, you would normally find it over here if you go to settings usually there used to be a camera over here so now they have actually moved it to uh, only this setting so that's about it that's why you cannot change the watermark which is unfortunate thing now the next thing now the next mode that we'll be looking at here is the portrait bokeh as you can see there is a dedicated portrait bokeh function and you can change the aperture value the lesser the number the more black background blur you get the more the number the more sharper it gets so that's how you can actually keep it as a referring as you will see now i will tap to focus i'll use tap to focus and then as it is sharp i can actually change the aperture and then click a picture that way whatever is in the background is completely blurred so let me move this camera lens a bit so that i can show you how much blur it does so let's say i'm taking a picture of this one so i use tap to focus now let's use this aperture mode uh, now it is at f5.6 let's say f8 okay i take a picture at f8 again use tap to focus the focus is logged then click a picture now the difference between this and f 2.0 f 1.4 let's see how much background blur it gives so again using tap to focus let it focus on the eye then click a picture now let's compare the images shall we so this is the portrait bokeh that i took with f 1.4 now as you are seeing guys how much background blur is there as you can see the background is completely blurred and the image is really really sharp right so if i move to the f 8.0 as you can see that much background blur is not prominent here meaning the background is a little bit more focused than this particular image so as you can see with the leaves as well this is more blurred this is less blurred even the ball here so this is how you can utilize the portrait bokeh and say that you have taken with the portrait bokeh f1.4 and you are seeing a little bit of blur on the hairs here so what you can do is just tap on the portrait bokeh again you can refocus and little bit increase the number from f1.4 to f2.8 and then tap on done now this is how you can utilize this really nice feature as you can see the top portion is now really sharp and tacked so that's a neat feature that every probably i think every vivo mobile gets this feature so if you use it properly you are going to get really nice looking images the next one is the hdr obviously you know what's hdr i have made so many videos explaining this thing so this is the live photo so it takes a video in mp4 format so let's uh, click a picture now as you will see press and hold to view the dynamic photo including the audio it captures couple of seconds uh, video so this is in now this is actually taken in jpeg format but still uh, when viewed on the vivo mobile so it gives live image just like this so in certain situations you can actually use this say that you, you and your friends have the vivo mobile and you can use this feature and enjoy so this is basically it with the uh, default mode as you can see you can use various filters to take some really nice looking images soft looking images as you are seeing how soft it gets as i use the filter so it helps in certain situation as well this is the mist filter that i applied so these are the settings that's available on the default take photo mode now i'll be making separate video about the manual camera settings so make sure you watch that video if you want to view the manual settings of this camera so for this video because it gets lengthy so let's leave it to this much in the next video i'm going to explain about the different modes including the professional mode so hit that like button share with your friends and do watch that manual camera settings video all right guys see you all in another one till then take care bye bye